Good. All right. Well, good morning and welcome to From the Shore, the official uh, online video of the Skinny Atlas Journal, or as uh, Chris likes to say, he's a little bit more uh, um, savvy with, with technology and, and social media and stuff. He calls it a vlog. Uh, so welcome to the vlog. Uh, I say good. Usually I say good afternoon, but we're uh, kind of doing the video a little bit earlier in the day, so it's still morning. So uh, mm -hmm. might be afternoon by the time you see the video. But hey, good morning. I still have coffee. So he still does have coffee. And, um, he didn't bring me any, um, but no. uh, it's okay. I'll, he does good work, so I'll let him stay here. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, I'm of course editor Jonathan Monfletto, and this is uh, reporter Curtis for Malone. Malone. For Malone, and um, we're here just to kind of talk about uh, this week's news and what's coming up and. Uh, I think kind of the big news, or not really big news, but kind of uh, the big happenings are that uh, both of the high schools that we cover are putting on their spring productions this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess you can call it spring production. It's not really spring. doesn't even feel like spring. But, uh, yeah, yeah, spring. It is, been, a, it is a spring semester, I guess. But, I thought uh, it was midwinter either. I don't know. And, uh, of course, Chris uh, covered both of mm -hmm. the previous stories on those. So why don't you talk about this a little bit? Yeah. 42nd Street is going on at Skinny Atlas uh, all weekend long from Friday, well, tonight, Friday night to Sunday. And uh, it should be a good, you said you were interested in the show, right? Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I have tickets to go with my wife and uh, her parents on Sunday. So I, it's a uh, perfect date. I evening. went to last spring, about a year ago, mm -hmm. actually, uh, they put on um, The Secret Garden. Um, I went and saw that. The, the fall before that, they did um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But I didn't see that, but I got to mm -hmm. see the rehearsal. And um, Skinny Alice just always puts on um, some great productions. I think Mickey Kringer, I mean, you've gotten to talk to him. Yeah. He's just a phenomenal uh, leader in that. And you, they have just such talented, enthusiastic uh, students that, that perform and work behind the scenes, which is, mm -hmm. which is awesome. I mean, I think it was, what, like something like 80 students yeah, it evolved is from you know the obviously from the performers down to the the stage crew and, and even the orchestra. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Uh, I read your story on it, and uh, it just sounds like it's, it's going to be a great show. Yeah, I mean, for especially for the seniors, they're very they're passionate about it, and of course they're at the age where they're going to be graduating and going on to college sure. and figure out what they do. Kind of like the same, the character, she goes to uh, try out for the show, and lo and behold, she gets the main role and. That's how the story goes, essentially. And actually, not, not to go off onto a tangent, but I will a little bit. Mm -hmm. That actually is almost uh, the life of some of uh, the, the, the students. I've actually gotten to talk to um, a couple of alumni mm -hmm. uh, from Skinny Outlet that have gone on to careers in acting. Uh, mm -hmm. One that comes to mind is Rachel Starr, who, uh, when I talked to her, was touring the country on um, an off-Broadway show. Uh, nice work if you can get it is what it was called, and she was kind of one of the... I don't think she was the lead role, but she had kind of one of the, the main roles in it, and she's mm -hmm. only um, probably less than 10 years out of out of high school, yeah. if, if even that, you know, so. Mm -hmm. And of course, going on at Marcellus, I'll let you talk about Yeah, Marcellus, uh, Suzical, uh, not Suzical the musical, but it is a musical called Suzical, based on characters of Dr. Seuss fame. Uh, well, not ironically, but perfectly fitting, this week was Dr. Seuss's birthday, and uh, the, the cast is so passionate, also very passionate, 80 some odd students also performing in it with pits and stage crew and uh, characters themselves and it starts off with a boy, finds the hat, uh, the cat in a hat appears and he kind of coaxes the kid to create this world based off of suggestions by himself <laughs> being the cat in the hat, you know, nice. instigator and Always my favorite instigator. Uh, I'd love to meet an animal that has capabilities to bring me into a new world where anything can happen. As well as a really cool hat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, are you planning to go see that? I don't know yes, uh, I'm going to probably go see on uh, tomorrow afternoon the 2 p.m. showing. Oh, cool. Uh, they don't have a Sunday show, but tonight and Saturday there's two performances, 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Right. Yeah, actually, as I was telling you, um, uh, Waterloo High School, where the district my wife uh, teaches, mm -hmm. uh, they put that on for their fall production. And just a phenomenal show, and obviously, I mean, who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? And you, have, like you said, you have Horton and the Cat in the Hat. The Grinch appears. I mean, pretty much every someone's out there saying, you know, "I don't like Dr. Seuss." They're probably, they're probably, there's always, there's always the one. That's really weird. I didn't know you were recording. I just like coughed into the. Oh, that's okay. I can cut that out. <laughs> 
And we're back. A little slight technical difficulty there. And uh, so, Chris, what else is uh, going on? Uh, we were talking about uh, Gabrielle Croner of Yellow Brick Actors. Uh, she is uh, a Syracuse University student, originally from Pennsylvania. Uh, came here, loved the area, stayed in the area. Now she is. Uh, form she formed her own group that caters to children in the hospital and uh, Casey's place over in Syracuse that had disabilities. She calls them disabilities. Students. I read. like that word. When yeah. I read the the draft of the story. That was yeah. really cool. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm going to use that in there. She says, I'll go right ahead. And uh, so uh, students with different abilities performing plays with puppets and imagination. It was just really kind of funny that how she was going through. I don't have any formal training as far as acting or anything goes, but uh, with improv, what she says that she participates with the kids, I do to warm up for oh, cool. my show. Nice. It's interesting. And, uh, well, uh, What do you got going on? Well, I'm actually, I'm actually working on a pretty interesting story, uh, as, as you may know, and by you, I mean Chris as well as the people watching, uh, the Skin Out YMCA is getting ready to, uh, add a second rink, and, uh, they've already, uh, announced slash proposed, I'm not entirely certain if, if it's official, it sounds like it is, that they're gonna name, uh, that rink after Duke Schneider, who was, a uh, Long-time supporter of mm -hmm. the hockey program at all levels. It sounds like you maybe you've heard of him. Is that what the name sounds really familiar. Yeah, they actually have a, a tournament after him. So I've been kind mm -hmm. of talking to some people, uh, specifically the Major family uh, in Skiing Alice, Charlie Major and his sons. Um, uh, really close to the Schneider family and, and New Duke from Charlie says from the time he was born, and of course uh, his sons grew, uh, grew up with him. Um, and uh, they're all pretty excited to, to see this honor happen for him, and uh, I look forward to putting together the story. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of funny, uh, I talked to Matt Major, who is uh, the ring director over the YMCA, um, hoping to catch up uh, with his brothers uh, Mitch and, and uh, Mike. Mitch is the uh, boys hockey coach, and, mm -hmm. and uh, Mike is the girls hockey coach at Skinny Alice, and they both actually just left town to go uh, to the uh, the Lakers uh, playoff game down uh, downstate this weekend, so uh, I'll get to catch up with them on Monday and finish the story. So looking forward to that. Great. And uh, on that note, um, of course, we send our uh, best regards to the Skinny Alice Lakers boys hockey team. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, they can uh, get a win and keep going. And I know. We'll, we'll